Oh my god. <laughs> Hook it up! What's happening, fellas? Feast your eyes on this classic aluminum frame CR500 two-stroke. This was the last bike that Mario Testa, who's now a factory Kawasaki mechanic out in California, last bike that he did for us before he left. Uh, the Wizard did the final assembly and tune on it, but uh, Mario spent the better part of a couple weeks on this thing. He stripped it right down to the frame. Uh, I guess we'll start with the motor. The motor was completely dismantled. You can see the cases were vapor blast. The head was vapor blast. All aluminum was, was polished. The piston, the rings, everything was freshened up. It's got a nice V-Force uh, Delta intake on here, which is really nice. It's got the P PWK Keyhin pipe, FMF pipe, service, uh, uh, Keyhin carb FMF pipe. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. It's got the service Honda polished billet aluminum engine case cover. All the aluminum on the motor is polished beautifully. It's fresh CR500 motor, 2001 aluminum frame. You can see even the mounts for the, uh, for the pegs were polished. Swing arms polished. It's got a complete refresh cosmetically of a new front fender, new rear fender, new radiator shrouds, new um, side number plates. This is a Steiger's, uh, Christy Steiger number 28 of her custom graphic kits. She designed the seat cover. Moto Seat built it to her spec with these colors. Uh, just cosmetically, it's an absolutely stunning bike. When, when Mario had it apart, he put all new bearings everywhere in the bike new steering head bearings new swing arm and linkage bearings you can see th this is really kind of a cool story behind this uh mario is good friends with the professor uh gary bailey, gary bailey and uh, david bailey's dad and was down south at his house and he called me up and said hey he's got some pro tape taper triple clamps we can use on the, our project bikes so this actually these actually came from the professor gary bailey's private stock that he got uh, from honda so these are from Pro Taper, excuse me. So it's got the full Pro Taper triple clamp and bar mounts. It's got a brand new set of Renthal bars on here. These are the twin wall bars. Uh, you can see it's got the new crossbar pad, new perch, new uh, clutch cable, new uh, clutch lever, Pro Grip 801s. It's got a new uh, brand new kill button. The Whirlpool throttles in brand new condition. The front brake system was completely redone. Master cylinder was was redone. The um, caliper was rebuilt and it has brand new brake pads in there the uh, front tire is a hoosier tire with a hoosier with a, with a new tube and rim strip the fork protectors on the bottom here are new with the steiger graphics kit on it the um radiators everything's in really good condition got a new set of rate a radiator louvers on here the uh hard a lot of nice new hardware on the bike it has the boys and factory racing cover over here fmf gold series fatty pipe the kicker was polished the um, peg mounts were polished on this side also. The swing arm was polished. The rear brake has a brand new set of brake pads. The master cylinder was redone, flushed, new fluid. The calipers, uh, as you can see, has been vapor blasted. The bike looks brand new, top to bottom, front to back. The um, silencer was brilliant, polished to a brilliant shine, almost like chrome by Mario. He took a lot of attention to detail on each and every component. He vapor blasted the hubs, pretty much vapor blasted, and then polished all the aluminum on the bike. Just really nice. Uh, it's got a brand new black sprocket with gold chain, uh, brand new Fredette racing products, aluminum chain guide on the bottom, new chain sliders, new rollers, uh, new uh, springs on the on the pegs. Everything's nice and fresh. Even the kicker, even, I mean, even the, the uh, shifter was polished on the bike. Just a beautiful piece. The, the, the uh, original 2001 sticker is still on the frame, indicating this thing was never really 
Um, you know, usually those get power washed right off. That's in, in beautiful shape. The frame was polished around the sticker. One of the wizard's touch, he always puts the, uh, the um, nice hardware on there with the free flow hose. Um, lots of new hardware everywhere you look. The, all, the, all the bolts that are visible are either new or like new. Just a beautiful piece. This one's ready to roll. Motors in mint shape. Uh, it was actually ported. The, the, the was, 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 you can see the on the side of the cylinder, you can see where it's been engraved. The engine's been ported. Cycle station. By cycle station. Uh, the, the top end's been refreshed. The cases are in beautiful condition. Just a beautiful piece, man. These are classic big bore two strokes that never go out of style. These motors are on par uh, with any 500 ever made. And in fact, on the dyno, they have more horsepower than a 2022 Honda Sierra 450. That's no big surprise, but 25% more torque, at least two horsepower more than a regular 450, one horsepower more than the Works Edition. So uh, the Works Edition dyno at 52 horse, the base 450 that I owned had uh, 49 then 50 horse, depending on uh, the uh, the um, temperature. It was a much, we had cool, cooled it down quite a bit. We got, the most we ever got in the dyno was 50 horse. These are pulling 53 horse at the rear wheel. So stout machine, These uh, the engine speaks for itself. The frame, all the running gears in mint condition. Like I said, all the bearings have been redone. The brakes are redone. It's been completely refreshed, ready for another 20 years of uh, fun in the sun. So if you have any questions about this kick-ass aluminum frame, give us a call, 860-454-7024. You want to add anything, Junior? Fire it up. Fire it up. Thanks for watching. God bless America. You got one chance. You got one job. Go to kaplancycles.com forward slash raffle, and you could win the Kaplan America CR500. Ripper. What would you do to it? Gave it the wizard tune. Cobb work was a secret.